Hi, and welcome to An Actor's Library. I'm Carly Spurk, and today I am reviewing the book, The Hypnotist's Love Story by Leanne Moriarty. This is the second book I have reviewed by Leanne Moriarty. I don't wanna just call you by your first name because I don't know you like that. Um, but the first one was Big Little Lies. And as you know, as many of you may know, it was turned into a TV series, which is doing quite well. It could be on its second or third season at this point. So I was anxious to read another book by her. I came to know about this book from a writer named Katie Wesh. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. She wrote a movie that I was in called Prom. And I was so excited to be contacted by her to read for one of the roles in this book. Um, because she wrote the pilot and she wanted to know if I was interested. And I was like, first of all, I adore you. And second of all, yes, I love any opportunity to act, number one, but especially when novels are made into movies or TV series. I love to dive into the research and the story behind the story. So once I knew, and then the two combinations of Katie and Leanne was like, oh my God, like two amazing writers working, collaborating, not necessarily together to my knowledge, but it's the same project being adapted. You know what I mean? So um, I couldn't wait to read the book because I wanted to be very well versed on the story and my character, which would have been, well, let me set up the story for you first a little bit. Um, the story, the hypnotist's name is Ellen and she is in a relationship at the beginning of the book, a new relationship with a young man named Patrick. Patrick has that talk with her, like I've got something to tell you. She doesn't quite know what it is. Come to find out that Patrick's ex-girlfriend, Saskia, has been, is stalking him. I have to admit, I am not a friend of stalking. I mean, who is? But I really don't find it humorous or amusing. I've been stalked before. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm a New Yorker now living in LA. That is not a joke. And I couldn't see how a whole story could be sustained on stalking. Someone's ex stalking not only them, but their new love interest. Needless to say, Leanne Moriarty makes it work. Um, I think I would have been out of there. And I was hoping that Ellen, the hypnotist, would have put some kind of spell on this chick to make her stop stalking. But that's not what happened. And I don't want to give anything away. But uh, she manages to make the whole stalking through line work throughout this haul. You see, there's a lot of pages here. Now, the character Ellen has a mom who's very, very interesting. And she has her own backstory. And she has two really, really good friends that Ellen has known since she was a child. They are considered her godmothers. And their names, let me just consult the text, Mel and Pip. Now, in the series, one of these characters was going to be a man, or they were going to at least look at the, the thought of one of them being male. And I was auditioning for both roles, not to be a man, obviously, but in case they chose to make them two women um, or however they decided, or maybe we, the actors, would have caused them to make a certain choice as to the gender, uh, race, whatever, age of the godmothers. I was reading for both, which was very exciting because now I have double my chances of getting the role. So I read the book so that I knew totally what was going on, did my research, was very, very excited, um, passed the first audition, and now I was going in for the callback or... I don't know if I was going in for the network, but before that could happen, I got a call from casting and a little note from Katie saying that Mel and Pip were not going to be in the pilot. They would develop their characters later on in the series. 
okay, that's fine. I'm honored to be in the mix, to have a relationship with a working writer such as Katie, who I adore. We love each other. And it's not often that you have a relationship like that in Hollywood. So I cherish it with all my heart. And I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. Let's see what happens. Well, I have found out that the pilot did not go forward in America, but they're talking about doing it in Australia, which maybe kind of makes sense to me because I, like I said, here in America, or at least in my circle, or at least in my experience, stalking is no joke. And this goes on and on and on and it works, but maybe better in Australia. I don't know, but it's a delightful book. It's very interesting, very entertaining. It's a good book. It held me to the end. Leanne is a very good writer and I hope to see it in a series and I can't wait to see who's cast in the roles, whether it be me or someone else. Um, so this was an exciting journey to be reading this book and now reviewing it based on my potential part in the TV series. So thank you, Katie, for thinking of me. Thank you, Leanne, for your work, all of your work. I really love your stories and I recommend it. Check it out. The Hypnotist's Love Story. And that's my story. From an actor's library, I'm Carly Spurk. See you next time.